after Stacey Ann Chen. So I want to write this poem, a response poem, but I don't know yet what I am responding to. Am I responding to a person? Am I responding to a poem? I am a poet. The first time I performed, I was a teenage girl and people, and by people, I mean y'all give teenage girls a lot of shit, no matter how many of them grow up to march in the streets for motherfuckers who still can't even manage to vote with us or for us. I cried three times in one night last week. The first, about a man. The second, about two men. The third, about an army of men. If my tears are a response poem, can you tell me what they are responding to? Are they responding to an opinion? Are they responding to a circle jerk? Are they responding to the weaponization of our wombs? I was raised half Catholic. Went to Catholic school as a teenage girl. I was confirmed, but I am not committed, though there is a patron saint of teenage girls. Her name is Maria Goretti, one of the youngest saints to be canonized. When a man tried to rape her, she begged him not to, said it would be unpleasing to God, said she would rather die, so he stabbed her to death. Maria was canonized as a virgin martyr, not for her compassion but for her purity because this is what the church chose to respond to. I want to write a response poem, but I don't know yet what I am responding to. Am I responding to a criteria? Am I responding to a religion? I would like to be unfazed. I would like to be untouchable, but I think that looks a lot like being out of reach, like being out of touch, like what we have all seen before. I think when someone sees something that they have never seen before, they cannot help but to respond. I think when I see something again and again, and again, I cannot help but to respond. I am just trying to think of a response that best addresses the issue to which I am responding. Maybe that response is not a poem, but an applause. Maybe that response is not a poem, but a pause to think, where have I seen this before? The first time someone asked to touch my naked body, I was nine. The first time someone lied and said I sucked their dick, I was 12. The first time I heard a woman talk about her sexuality as if it was her own, I was 16. The first time I believed I had every right to my own fully, I was 27. I wrote a poem celebrating the reclamation of sexual pleasure, but left before I could hear the response poem. Spoiler, I've been hearing that response poem my whole life. Synopsis, the appraisal of a woman's body is yours to do with what you will, and you are entitled to treat us accordingly. Summary, you can't respect us anymore if or after we let you nut inside of us. But the first time, I learned there is a word for when someone has sex with you and leaves something behind as if it is yours to carry. I was 10 in health class. I'm just saying... Maybe you should get yourself checked, or in other words, check yourself. Check yourself.